Now this might seem a little weird, but I'm trying to figure out how to make this robot do a flip, but none of it is animated. It's all completely dynamic. The only thing that's driving the robot is constraints because I have various constraints that are set up like springs. Let me go ahead and zoom in so I can show you what I'm talking about. Whoops. Like these constraints in the knees. If you look at them, I have them set up as generic springs and then I have the stiffness keyframed. Because as you can see, when it, initially it starts off at 500 and then when it gets to here, then the stiffness starts going way up, goes up to 5,000, which essentially launches it back in the air like a spring that's compressed. And then whenever it gets to right here at frame 85, the stiffness reaches 5,000, and then it starts dropping. And then at this point, it's at 1500, and then it drops to zero by the next keyframe. And that's the same uh, setting I have for this knee. And then for the hips, this um, constraint, I have it pushing the leg down essentially. Shut up, cat. You're making noise. And of course I got it keyframe too. And as you can see, it's set at 100, the stiffness 100 initially. And then whenever it gets to frame 72, the stiffness goes up, starts shooting up all the way to frame 85 where it reaches 1000. Now I probably need to drop that a little bit because it's already straightened him up too much right here. But so far this is the closest I've gotten. And basically all I'm doing is just, this is just mostly an exercise just to see if I can figure out how to do it. It's probably good exercise to just learn the constraints to such a degree where you could uh, cause a robot to do a flip with nothing but constraints and do, it's all rigid bodies and dynamics I mean basically it could this robot could knock down a Kev a plank building essentially but I'm going to test that theory because I think it needs to be the stiffness needs to be turned down at 80 frame 85 so what I'm going to do I'm going to change this to 750 reset the keyframe go to the other hip um, constraint and then change that to 750 and then keyframe that and now I'm going to go back to the beginning and see how that affects the uh, flip It didn't do a whole lot. He rotated just a little bit better. But of course, he's still not rotating all the way around. It, it'll take a while to get it all sorted out. But I just thought this was interesting. Because I, up until realistically about an hour ago, I never thought about using constraints in this specific way. But if anybody actually wants this project whenever I get it done so they can look over it and learn about it, let me know in the comments and I will provide a link sometime tomorrow. But as of right now, I'm getting ready to go to bed. I'm old. Later, people.